Hey YouTube, it's Demetri, and today we are going to talk about the six books that I think my employees should have on the job here. So I was recently asked, Demetri, we would like to purchase some books for your employees to read, to enhance themselves, uh, to make them better at their current jobs. What books would you recommend here? Now, I know you guys can't fully see, but there's a bookcase here, and if you go across, there's a whole other bookcase that has... Um, a lot of books, and you don't need all these books. I mean, if you have a specific project, it's, it's really nice to go and find like the book on a specific topic that's really detailed, and you can go through some other perspectives on things, but that's not the task here. The task here is what are the core books that you would need to do your job to add value here at the company I'm at, um, doing model development on the credit side here. So let's just start off with here. There are six books, three categories. Uh, the first category is going to be credit side, so intelligent credit scoring uh, with Naeem Sadiqi. Uh, this book is absolutely amazing. I love this book. Um, again, he works for SAS too, so I used to program in SAS all the time. Uh, I program in Python at my current job, but this book explains how credit actually functions and works and the analytics behind it. It is not a how to code a model process here, but it goes through the process of model development, uh, defining target variables, for example, which is a little more complicated than people think, doing definitions and all that. Um, this book I absolutely love. I think it is great. There's even sections in like reject inference, which I've only done once in my career, but it is something you'll probably run across. And it covers all the basics like gains tables, how to read stuff, how to think about things. Um, it is a great book, I think, both for the analytics side and the model development side as it gives more of that business insight you're going to need. Then the second book here, specifically on credit, which will shock probably many of you, uh, is Econometrics, uh, A Modern Approach by Jeffrey Waldridge. Many of you know it's one of my absolute favorite books. It is a behemoth, so it covers a lot of topics um, just on statistical modeling, which is econometrics. Statistical modeling for financial applications. Again, it's not going to tell you how to build a model for credit. It's not gonna tell you how to build a model for a behavior scorecard. Um, it's not gonna tell you all these specific things you need for the exact job, um, but it's gonna cover all the traditional types of statistical modeling, um, time series, panel data as well, and the advanced section here, which is the blue, the blue section of this book here. Um, but this book, uh, and the credit book together. Uh, this is traditional banking 101. This is kind of what I would consider my credit Bible um, to get you going um, as a first time employee and to really get you into the weeds. If you can do all that, you're probably about an average employee. So that's just the basics there. Now, as we're trying to move into a new kind of phase here, now banks have been doing this for, I don't know, 10 plus years. And even when you go into fraud modeling, which we're doing currently, uh, Credit modeling or fraud modeling goes back like 20, 30 years of machine learning. So machine learning is not new to the banking side uh, or FinTech, put in FinTech. Uh, anyways, traditional credit stuff, you're gonna be using machine learning. Uh, my favorite book, which shocks a lot of you probably as well, is the Stats Quest Illustrated Guide to Machine Learning, uh, Triple Bam by Josh Starmer. I absolutely love this book. Um, his YouTube channel is amazing. Um, as I've mentioned in his book review, if you look at the book, uh, it is very simple, but yeah, Josh explains the actual mechanics behind it, the math, the theory. You need to know the fundamental basics of how things work. I don't care that you can like, oh, I ran out and programmed things in Python because my employees do that. Then I ask them like, okay, so what does that mean? How do I interpret that? How do I explain it to the business? How does the consumer know what that means? And then like their minds blow because... They don't know why. So this book is my absolute favorite book though, just because I think it teaches all the fundamental basics here, basic simple things that you're going to need to know um, to implement models and practice here. So that gives you a solid foundation. Once you have that down, then I can talk you through other complex books and I can run home and you know pull a few books off my shelf back here. And we can go into the nuanced details of why we care about how we get to optimizing um, the discovery of the model or the learning within itself. Um, Whole other topics here. And then, of course, since we're programming in Python, uh, I like the hands on machine learning with scikit-learn, Keras, and TensorFlow um, by Garon. Uh, I really enjoy the book. This is more of the hands on piece. This is the like, okay, I understand how the models work. I understand how to apply them. Um, this is how you actually program them. And so even though this book, people go, but Demetri, it's outdated. And this is second edition. Um, they're always updating packages. You're never gonna have the most up-to-date process here. This just gives you the quick, easy uh, foundational pieces though to actually code these machine learning models quickly. Um, 
for stats models, the ones at the beginning with the econometrics, I assume these are fairly straightforward. Um, but again, that book I really enjoy. Uh, I do think he does, though, in his book as well, when you kind of scroll through this, there are a little bit of conversations around the applications of it. Um, again, not towards finance, but it, it's getting you there, but it really just gets you the programming pieces down, I think, far better. And it kind of gives you some interesting ideas and ways to think about things in a non-finance perspective, which is why I recommend this book. Then the next book, next category here is going to be more or less like time series-esque uh, specific to finance because we do a lot of that. I know people don't think about that when they think about credit, um, but we do modeling out for economic modeling. Uh, we have a whole proprietary system which uses time series and everything else within the credit space. Uh, and the book I recommend here is going to be Analysis of Financial Time Series, third edition by Say. Um, I absolutely love this book. I have not done an official review on it yet for you guys. Um, it looks almost brand new because I haven't spent too much time in it. Um, but it does a great job of taking more or less traditional, simple market finance problems like factor investing and time series. Uh, and it walks through, I think, from a decent perspective. I, I have some some disagreeances on the stationarity presentations in the book, which I have with almost every book. Um, but overall, this book is pretty good. If you followed this book and you built a model using uh, the insight of time series in this book, um, I would have a very hard time knocking any of the work you've done. So I think this book does a excellent job actually explaining the time series. So the Econometrics book, um, by Wolderidge, it covers kind of the fundamental basics. This really amps it up and takes it to that financial level, gives you a little more insight, a little more application. Again, not directly with what we're doing, um, but it gives you the ideas uh, at a deeper level, more of a financial perspective. I think this book is of great value. And then finally, uh, Introduction to Stochastic Processes with R um, by Robert uh, Dobrow. Uh, so this book I have read, I enjoy. I still need to do a review on this book as well. Um, this book, though, is more or less on Markov change and Markov processes, and it covers kind of like Markov, uh, Monte Carlo processes and continuous processes. And uh, this book is kind of a different approach, a different perspective to time series applications um, through the Markov lens here. Um, I think this is quite useful for a lot of the projects that I am working on. Um, I think this will provide a foundation to employees from a different viewpoint. So time series is time series is time series. Uh, it covers Brownian motion, Edo's integral. Uh, it covers, again, really simple transition models where you're going from one state uh, to another state. Uh, and often in the financial realm, we model things with Markov chains, Markov processes, or Monte Carlo simulations and all that. Uh, but trying to get all of those pieces from that different viewpoint will kind of help you put your time series together, again, through your econometrics textbook, uh, through the time series textbook, and through the Markov chains textbook. And again, I think these six books provide a really simple foundation uh, to cover credit, traditional statistics, machine learning. Learning, uh, and kind of the time series aspect that I kind of work in in my daily job and where I see my employees kind of heading with projects and ideas here. So anyways, those are the six books I recommend. If you guys found them helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I will put links to all these books in the description below. Yes, there are affiliate links. It costs you nothing extra, um, but Amazon does give me a little thank you kickback of a few cents here and there um, to say, hey, thanks for driving traffic to Amazon instead of other websites here. Um, so if you do purchase them, it's great support to the channel if you can use those links as well. So thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And as always, until next time.